Today in our 2016 Toyota Camry, we're going to be test fitting the Thule Passage 2 bike rack, part number TH910XT. We already have a bike installed on our rack. Let's go ahead and take a closer look and show off some of the features. The cradles themselves are adjustable along the arms, and this is to accommodate loading and also to keep the space between the bikes a little bit further apart. We also have these sections here, which if you look at the bike we have installed, that'll actually allow your cables to sit in there and not get crushed by your frame once they're installed. It grips your bike by three points. We're going to have two straps up at the top and one off to the side, and that's going to serve as an anti-sway cradle to keep your bike from moving too far back and forth and possibly making contact with the bike in front of it. Let's go ahead and take the bike off and set it aside. We'll undo the straps at the top first. And then lift our bike up and off. With the bike rack in this position, I want to give you a quick measurement. Measuring from the edge of our bumper to our outermost point here, we've added about 22 inches to the rear of the vehicle. Now for close quarter situations such as parking or putting in your garage, these arms do fold down to provide you a little extra clearance. To do that, you'll see these silver tabs on both sides. You push them in at the same time and push the arms down. With the arms in the folded down position now, now we've only added about nine inches to the rear of the vehicle, so that did make a little bit of a difference. How this actually attaches to your trunk, we're gonna have six points of contact. We're going to have two rubber coated hooks up at the top, two to each side just above the tail light, and then two at the base of the trunk. We also have these foam pads here at the base as well as the top of the trunk to make sure that once you install this on your vehicle it's not going to scratch up the trunk at all. On the inside here you'll see it has this dial with the screws and they're going to be one on each side. This is going to be the fit dial for this particular vehicle and we have it set at eight but always double check your instructions. So there you have it for the Thule Passage 2 bike rack, part number TH910XT, on our 2016 Toyota Camry. Here it is on our test course. We'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Next, we're at the alternating speed bumps which will see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Finally, we have the full speed bumps where we'll see the up and down action, which is just like driving out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.